If y'all got some questions for Jakob, let's fire away. Let's go to Tom Petrini. Tom, you're up, sir. Hey, Jakob, how's it going? Good, how are you? All right. Um, you had four blocks in that first preseason game. Um, what are some of the keys for you to anchoring the defense and protecting the rim? Uh, I mean, it, there's a bunch of stuff. Like, honestly, I feel like um, it's that mindset of, of being that, that last guy on defense, the last guy that can challenge a shot at the rim. Um, I think uh, it, it's um, a mindset of, like, playing together. You know, I, I try and go get it, trusting that one of my teammates has my back in case he tries to dump it off to the, to the big guy. Um, yeah, and just like caring about getting stops, I guess. And then in the bubble, you know, you had DeMar at the four. Now in that first preseason game, you were sharing the front court with Rudy Gay and LaMarcus Aldridge. How does that change the way you play, especially in that role? Uh, it was it was interesting because we, we didn't practice much with that lineup, but it actually we started off the the game um, I, I think really well. So um, the honestly the biggest difference um, it has like a little bit more power in the rebound, I guess, because I think offensively since um, Rudy and LA are both spacing out the three. It really doesn't make that big a difference. I guess in the bubble, we had a couple more ball handlers, a couple more drivers. Um, and now we have a little bit more size that can help us on defense and, and like I said, on the boards. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Let's go to Jeff McDonald. Jeff. Hey, Yak, are you expecting you guys will see a lot of mixing and matching with lineups, especially early? You know, also given that you've got guys out, guys will be coming back. Are you expecting lineups will maybe not be or will be kind of fluid? To be honest, I have no idea. Um, and I try not to worry about it. I try to let um, Pop worry about it. So you're probably going to have to ask him. I don't know if you want to ask him, but you can try. We'll give it a shot. Um, and also the, 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 the young kid, Devin, um, what did you see from him in that first game that, that stood out to you? Um, I mean, I think he he showed that he has a, a good feel for the game, like that he's a, a very talented player. Um, you could also see that he still has to get adjusted to to NBA refereeing and stuff like that. So I, I try and give him like um, a couple of tips and tricks because I remember it's not too long ago that I had to deal with um, being out there, being a rookie and, and feeling like you're getting every call against you. Um, so, but yeah, I think all in all, he, he showed great energy on offense and on defense. Like he showed that he was really trying to get out there and, and yeah, um, play hard. And, and I, I really think he, he did a good job. Was that your biggest adjustment as a rookie was the officiating or was there others? I mean, there's, there's a bunch of adjustments you have to make um, as a rookie um, coming from college, getting to the NBA. But um, the officiating is definitely one of them because not only is it a different play? Like the, the referees are calling games differently than you're used to in college, but also you have a completely different role. You might, as in, in college, as like the one of the go-to guys in your team, you probably get a couple calls in your favor. And now you come to the NBA, you, you're a young guy, the refs don't know you, you don't know them. Like there's this adjustment period um, that, yeah, um, can be a little frustrating when you feel like you have calls going against you or yeah, you just get caught out of position and, and rack up a couple of fouls. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Let's go to Jeff Garcia from News 4. Hey, Jakob. Uh, what are you seeing from um, Drew Eubanks in practice? Um, he's talked about expanding his game away from that rim. Uh, what are you seeing? How does he look? Um, he looks good. Um, he's aggressive as always. Um, really... Um, tough to guard because he, he plays strong. He plays, he tacks the rim on, on the boards. And um, other than that, yeah, I've noticed he's he's shooting a lot more threes in practice. Um, he's um, sprinkled in a couple um, during the scrimmages even. Um, and I think um, it could be really good for him if he keeps working on it um, and gets more consistent with it. Uh, yeah, I, I think he's done really well so far in training camp. I appreciate you. Thanks, Jacob. Much appreciated. We'll see you next yeah. time. Yep.